The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Your name is your greatest resource. It is all that you have. It always stands in for you. It always stands in for you. When your name is destroyed while you are still alive, you could be useless. So jealously guard your name. And try to invest in your name. You saw what Jesus did. And the Bible says, therefore God also. Highly exalted him. And gave him the name that is above every other name. Then we try to say that what does that mean practically? He is made in both Lord and Christ. Oh Lord, our Lord. How majestic is your name? In all the earth, not some part of the earth. In all the earth. Now, when I talk about great name, I mean good becoming very good. Now, when we are talking about the name of Jesus, you cannot say that is a good name. Now, you can only say that is a great name. Because it is good becoming very good. So, I'll be using good name and great name interchangeably. Now, but I'm not talking about Titles. I'm not talking about people of position. Not about chief executives. Presidents and chairpersons of organizations. Now, when I say that a good name can purchase some favors for you, I'm still not talking about people of high position. These could be accorded some protocols because of their position. But when a person occupies a high position, like a president of an organization, and the person does not have a good name, the support is finding difficult. According him with that kind of respect. So be a wood na pen case ye to say be a oman penny. Na ni subai anana bra bonya. Ya ne ding mano se na se for no edi ubuoni ni di umpu ever man. Now when I talk about that person not having a good name, I mean not being morally excellent. And me case sa ni pano e be no ni di mpa. But ne me chase be anani subany. Dependable. The fellow is not genuine. No, you may have a position, but you may not be honorable. Such fellow, if the person is not responsible, people may not accord him the respect. Like Haman, to satisfy their ego, they can force their subordinates to bow to them. But they will be bowing their heads, but inside their heart they will be standing. They say, "Hey man, no, obey to me as she want. I want to say, say, one cut on. Obey to me, I cut on the air. Now, so I come and mono. Now, one cut on. But a good name will purchase favors for you without any compulsion. Now, so the power way obey to me at the adore a brewa. Unse obiya. Good name. A ding papa. Great name. A ding kasi. It's much more desirable than money. Than positions, than titles. When I mean a good name, purchasing favors. Because a dimpa, it to me a tradie, and I say a diadoye brewa. 
This is what I mean. Let's go to Job chapter 29. Job chapter 29. I read from verse 7 through to 15. But me, please pay attention. Me kind if he in you more and so no could do do no no. When I went to the gate of the city, I took my seat in the public square. This is Job speaking. Where you hope and a or Casano, your chassis ever in you more and so no. Just let me say, me free a deep me co crop no 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 no. And now, me de me ja me see and prayer so. Now. Listening to him. The young man saw me and stepped aside. And the old man rose to their feet. The young man saw me and stepped aside. And the old man rose to their feet. The chief men, now young men, old men, the chief men refrained from speaking and covered their mouth with their hand. Now, my poor man, he died. Casa, now what the one saw, he but to one no. Just by his, seeing his face. So who know how keke? Good name, purchasing favors without compulsion. A dimpa, a di adoye brewa unse obia. The voices of the nobles were hushed, and their tongues struck to the roof of their mouth. A makoma any tadi na wante chema e famu ondo Whoever heard me spoke well of me, and those who saw me commended me. Now asotia e shirame na eni hunumia e dimia dance ye. Now he said because I rescued the poor who cried for help, and the fatherless who had none to assist them. If he said me ye omani hufo ah kusufre. So the respect is not just coming to him. It is based on something. It is founded on who he is. Good man. Now listen to this big one. The one who was dying blessed me. I made the widow's heart sing. The orie ayirano eshira me Na nishira eba meso na mema oba kunafuo nya abutoyem. The one who was dying blessed me. Nia anka owo numpo ushira me. I made the widow's heart sing. Na mema oba kunafuo nya abutoyem. I put on righteousness as my clothing. <laughs> Justice was my robe and my turban. Me fretri nia ushira me. Now, my Temusem, they say, I tell you, any abutri. I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. Me ye a new Emma on the friendly, now me ye a nang and so Emma and Pache. So when the young men see him, they step aside. We ain't he say a man to whom you pet, no a gin and chain. And the old men, old men, they will rise to their feet. Now, and Cochranso, a sorry nation. The chiefs refrain from speaking and cover their mouth with their hands. The voices of the nobles in town were hush, and their tongues stuck to their roof of their mouth. Whoever heard me spoke well of me, and those who saw me commended me. Great man. A good man. Becoming very good. So I want to push you from just having a good name to having a great name. And that respect comes voluntarily. No, he doesn't just command it and want to demand it. Sir. I said last week that we are all born with gifts and talents. Now we all have opportunities. But only few are able to work on these graces and gifts to turn them into great 
and revered names. We therefore need to carefully and intentionally deliberately invest in our names as a unique entity on earth. Now look at Job. He says that whoever heard me, commended me. He should be a certain man. So how do you invest in your name to make it great? How do you have a good name? Let me say generally that if you want to have a good name or a great name, you have to make some sacrifices. Like Jesus. You need to go the extra mile. You have to make yourself nothing. You have to draw straight lines of resistance. And you need to discipline your appetite. You have to say no to all all ungodliness by the help of the Holy Spirit. Now I shall attempt to offer some suggestions as to how you can have a good name and then add whatever you know to it. Yeah, whatever you think will help, but I'll offer some few suggestions. Number one, let love and faithfulness invest your actions. Now, let love and faithfulness invest your your action. Proverbs 3, verse 3 and 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Then you win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. You need to work very hard like Jesus. The Bible says he gained favor with God and with men. And if he is the one we are following, then let love and faithfulness never leave you. Then you also gain favor before God. And men. Say ye ye ne chidi fo dia. Eni en sese wo do. Eni papa ye. E free ya kwenye. Eni ya kuma na ya di ye mu da. Ni ye benyo nyanko pa oni ni pe ni mu adom. Galatians 6. 7 to 10. Ye shwe galati fo oma no. E tin siya. E fin ye mun sun. E kusi do no. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Muma wo na damo. No nyanko pa on. Wo nsin a chuchi ye. If we said the only pagono and wara no cha, so you just cannot have a good name. You need to sow something that will yield that kind of great name for you. Verse nine. Verse nine says this. Love keeps good records. Let us not become weary in doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not give up. Verse ten. Let us not become weary in doing good. If you want to have a good name, so good. And then you will reap good. Oh, pesa unya dimpa, but more than you say, we adepa. No way to me anya adepa. I say, na mumma yemre papa yemu. Let us not be weary in doing good, for at the proper time you reap a harvest if you do not give up. Na say yampa ba yebeka swaba nibremu. The human being is very, very overbearing, but if you want to be a good man, <laughs> you have to sow good. Now, 